second. Okay, perfect. What's up, everybody? My name is Quang. This is my friend, Andrew. What's up? And we are at Anime Expo Day 1. And uh, I met Andrew at Anime Expo a few years ago, like four or five years ago. I don't remember exactly the year. At least 2017. Yeah. Because I, I remember right. having a shirt that says 2017 on it. And yeah. let's talk about you. Oh, this um, is very nerve-wracking. <laughs> so we met at Anime Expo. Uh, can you explain to whomever what Anime Expo is? Uh, so Anime Expo is the largest anime convention in North America. Um, with over 200,000 attendees every year and uh, over 800 hours of programming in Japanese culture, arts, media, and entertainment. It's awesome. It is a basically a fan-run uh, convention. It's super fun. You watch anime? I do. Is that how you got in it? Like, how do uh, you- I mean, I do and I don't. Um, I like some things. Uh... A lot of the newer stuff is harder for me to catch up on just because I'm always busy. But uh, if people recommend me something enough, I'll do it. I'll, but I'll give it a watch. Yeah. Oh, where'd you grow up, man? <laughs> uh, grew up uh, mostly in the Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland. Like the wait, San Francisco and o- Oakland? Yeah. So I lived um, I lived in Oakland for pretty much all of middle school. And then high school, I went to high school in San Francisco. And so between kind of both, because we kind of moved in between. What was the high school you went to San Francisco? You don't want me asking. Gateway High School, Gateway Gators, baby. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, a little charter school. It was great. There was like only like 400 kids. It was amazing. I met some of my friends' friends. They're like born in San Francisco. There's whatever school they went to was OJ Simpson School. Nice. So he's from San Francisco. I don't remember where he went to school, but basically, if you're smart in San Francisco, you go to Lowell. Lowell. Um, or Wash, I think is the other one. I think Lowell, Wash, there's another one. But uh, but no, I went, to, I went to a tiny, tiny little charter school. It was originally my freshman year in a old UC San Francisco medical building. And it was like three floors, and it was like basically a hospital turned into a school. It was weird. And then after that, we moved to like a traditional high school building. Oh, what'd you go to college? Uh, I went to college at UC Irvine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went to uh, UC Irvine. Ant Eaters. Studied. Uh, studied film, uh, history, and global cultures, which is basically international studies. Oh, that's dope, man. I, I went to uh, the other UC, UC Santa Barbara. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, but no, 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 no. Santa Barbara. Santa, no, thinking, no, wrong one. I was about to say banana slugs. I was literally about yeah. to say banana slugs, and I was like, that's the wrong one. It's um, a, so you went to a party school. Correct. We were, we were just, they were just talking shit about the party school earlier. You 100% went to a party school. I yeah. went there freshman year uh, for Halloween, and then I learned. Ooh, tell me about your crazy Halloween story there. I don't remember too much, but basically Halloween freshman year, my friends told me that UC Santa Barbara is where to go. Okay. So we basically took the train up, a bunch of friends uh, picked us up, and then we basically stayed with them at their frat for the entire weekend of like Halloween. And all I remember is ambulances just going down the street, blaring all day, going to places because, uh, you know, people are partying too hard. There, there's a lot of like cops from not outside the area that goes there and a lot of students that go outside of the area that goes there sure. to party that, speci- sure. that specific weekend. Oh, yeah, because they know what's up. Yeah, I remember that weekend, one of the weekends, like, I was standing outside my, my apartment, my house apartment, whatever, and, mm-hmm. and one guy's like, hey, everyone, let's take shots. He gave everybody a shot, went inside to get more shots, and while he was inside to get more shots, mm-hmm. everyone standing outside got a ticket for yep. alcohol in public. And yep, that sounds about right. Yeah. And speaking of which, we have, like, a mutual friend, Patrick. Yes, Patrick. He, he, went to, uh, he went to Ohio, which is also a top 10 party school. Ironically, me and him, when we were in high school, we were both religious. He's more, he's religious now. Again. I feel like over the years I've known him, he's gotten more religious. Really? I remember he was kind of wild when he worked at that. Um, yeah. When I met him, he was like more wild. And then when I left and then later on in life, I feel like he got more. Because like his, like, I only kind of follow up now with him on social media. Like just okay. see what he's up to. And I feel like ever since then, it's been like more 
religious and like um, orthodox and like kind of just like being a good being a good dad and like all that. <laughs> it's, it's wild. I think we're at the age where all our friends are. Does a lot of your friends have kids? Mm, no, no, no. A lot of my friends don't have kids. Mm, more and more, they're getting married, but not kids. I feel like that's coming within like two years, possibly. Wait, how I, old I are you? I'm 34. I'm okay. born in 88. Okay. You? I am 33, born in 88, so you are slightly older than me. Oh, 88? No yeah. way. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio baby. On November, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, he looks 34, but he doesn't look a day over 27. <laughs> oh, appreciate it. Um, but no, uh, but yeah, most of my friends are getting married at this point. Um, some of them have kids, but they're all young. They're all under two, for sure. Like, I don't think any of my core friends have anybody over two. Yeah. I think only one of my, one of my buddies, he had a kid young, well, not young, but like maybe 21, 22, and his kid just started middle school. Mm. Mm. Took him to like That's wild. first school dance. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, no, thankfully, my, my best friend, he has a, he's a Vietnamese, and his wife is Chinese, and they have a very cute baby. His name's Alex. He's you, the you, cutest baby I've ever seen. You meet him in Irvine? Uh, my friend, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he has literally the cutest Asian baby I've ever seen. Oh, shoot. My bad. Give me a second. Someone's out the door. Oh, oh, this, this is live. We're, uh, we're recording a podcast for, for Quentin. Hey, hey, we're good. Get to know yeah, yeah. Ooh. Uh, there's stuff there, and have a seat, and huh? Just sit there. Our friend Mr. and Mrs. Derek joined the party. Yeah. And brought seaweed. Yeah. All right. Um, if anything, we can wrap it up really quick and do a part two manana, or we'll do a quick edit tomorrow. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, but I, uh, thank you. This will be a quick introduction. Is there anything you want to talk mm-hmm. about tomorrow? Uh, Maybe we'll just let it flow. We talk more about the con, yeah, or, uh, you, anime expo, or you, the con, or what you, you do. Yeah, you ask me anything you like. <laughs> I'm willing to share. Cool. All right. All Peace right. out, guys.